Hey everybody, welcome back to Wacky Wednesday. Mr. Tim here. Miss Colette. Hey, this week we're going to be talking about freedom. Our freedom in our country and freedom that we can gain through knowledge in the Bible or some learn some things in the Bible. So, um, be thinking about that um, since 4th of July, Independence Day is coming up. We thought freedom would be a good topic. So before we get that started, yes, we have our normal wacky jokes. So, I'm going to start it off with the first one. Okay. Why does the Statue of Liberty stand in New York Harbor? Because it's a big harbor. Um, no. She's a statue. She can't sit down. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, knock, knock. Who's there? Sadie. Um, Sadie who? Sadie Pledge of Allegiance. It's the 4th of July. Oh, Why? <laughs> All right, I, I have one. Does Europe have 4th of July? No, that's our holiday. No, actually they do because it comes right after the 3rd of July. Oh, in the calendar. Yes. <laughs> Forgot about the calendar. Yes. Okay, so what did one flag say to the other flag? I'm not sure. What did it say? Nothing. It just waved. Just waved. Oh, my. All right, so let's get the last wacky joke out of the way so we can get to the lesson. Okay. What treats do dads like on the 4th of July? Uh, big juicy cheeseburgers. I'm, I like a big juicy cheeseburger, but no, it's popsicles. Get it? Popsicles. Yeah. All right, so, moving on. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> so some of you, I hope most all of you, have learned a little bit of something about American history. American history on the July the 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed that we to gain our freedom from Europe, Great Britain, um, but it wasn't as easy as just signing that piece of paper. There was some sacrifices that had to be made. There was a long, hard war. People lost their lives. People probably lost their homes, maybe their land, their possessions. So it wasn't just sign this piece of paper and say, you're free. There was some things that people had to go through and a lot of hard times to sacrifice to get that freedom. And even today, we still have to do things. There's been wars fought since then to help us continue to keep our freedom. And there's things that we uh, take for granted that we can, you know, lose with our with losing our freedom is going to church when we want and where we want and being able to go to church, um, going to the school you like to do. So just remember that freedom isn't free. That reminds me of a story in the Bible. If we go back to the Old Testament and read what, about Moses, we'll find that God sent Moses to Pharaoh to declare freedom for his, his people, the Israelites. Moses wasn't sure he was the right guy for the job, so God promised he'd be with him. So after a long struggle and a lot of plagues that God sent, the Pharaoh finally let the people of Israel go and free from their slavery. So Moses took them to the promised land, but it didn't happen overnight. It actually took 40 years 40 to get to the promised years? land. I'm almost 40 years old. A few decades ago. <sighs> so the the people were getting really frustrated. Could you imagine walking in the desert for 40 years and no. trust that you really are going to get to this promised land? So did he keep trusting in God? It took some help from God, but Moses was able to show them that God was still there. He showed them through... The manna that fell from heaven, they had food provided for them. They had water provided when Moses struck the rock. The water came out of it. Moses was able to part the Red Sea to help them escape the uh, armies that were chasing them. And even when Moses went to the mountain and brought down the, the Ten Commandments, the tablets with the Ten Commandments, God showed himself the whole way through. So God was there and God helped them gain their freedom then. Mm -hmm. So, with continuing with that, um, Jesus came to help us free us from our sin, to free us from the slavery of sin. Um, you know, if we get caught up in, in sin, um, we don't have our freedom because sin keeps us to where we don't have the freedom that we would like to have. Um, is there a Bible in a verse that might share a little bit of something about that? Yes, actually, my favorite Bible verse that talks about freedom is in 2 Corinthians. Look at verse 317. 317 in 2 Corinthians says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So what that's saying is that <clears throat> we can have freedom 
if we trust in Jesus. Jesus will help us free us from our sin and the slavery of sin, just like Moses helped free the people and bring them out of the slavery of Egypt. And just like we were enslaved in a way to Great Britain at the time, we gained our freedom in our country to be able to do the things that we are able to do. And just um, like those other freedoms, sin doesn't let up. There's always a threat to get caught up in it and you'll, you're gonna have to have that fight yeah. every day. So you're gonna continue to have to pray and ask God to help you stay free from that sin. So just remember, God's always with us. And in the celebration of Independence Day and 4th of July, I have some sparklers that were left over from last year just to get things started. We have our flag behind us and we have some red, white, and blue beads on. But most of all, I want you to celebrate and have a good time and celebrate our freedom, but do it carefully. Have fun, but stay safe. I want to see everybody's fingers on their hands next week. Until then, bye. bye.